everyone, Lloyd with Team BC. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to touch on a, quite a few things that I have recently noticed. I've been getting a lot of questions on and that is specifically for newer agents, which is how to set up your business. Now, before I begin this video, I do want to mention that I'm super excited to be launching the bootcamp for September. So the new real estate agent bootcamp registration is officially opened. So if you're thinking about getting into real estate, perhaps you're a brand new agent, or maybe you have been in the business for quite some time, but you never got the foundation that you needed to get the momentum to become successful or at least get some traction, then this program is for you. To get more information and to sign up, make sure that you visit my website right here again registration will actually be closing on september 22nd at midnight pacific center time so you definitely do not want to miss out so back to this video when you are a brand new agent sometimes it feels very overwhelming all of the information that you're getting everything from lead generation from setting up your systems from joining a brokerage from paying all the fees from figuring out what is a dialer and what are expires for sale by owners you name it you are probably completely confused so the very first thing that you need to do as a brand new real estate agent is that you need to sit down and really think of what your schedule is going to look like you see, many times brand new agents think that, you know, now I'm a new agent and I'm my own boss. I'm not working for anybody else. So I can work the hours that I want, when I want to work. If I don't want to, I'm not gonna work. And the truth is that that's not how it works. It feels like you almost have to work more now that you are an independent contractor and a real estate agent than if you did have a regular nine to five job. Now, what do I mean by that? When you are new, you're going to be doing absolutely everything. You're going to be doing the calls, the follow-up, the lead generation. You're also going to be doing the marketing. And what do I mean by marketing? Anything in regards to updating your website, posting on social media, sending out newsletters. You see, as I'm saying all of these things, you are probably starting to realize that becoming a new real estate agent is actually a lot more work than you probably thought. So the very first thing that you need to do is figure out exactly what days you're going to work, if you're going to be doing this full-time or part-time, at what time are you going to get up? You need to know exactly what you're going to be doing from the moment that you get up until the moment that you go to sleep. Now, you might be thinking that this is completely outrageous or maybe this is really extreme, but I can tell you for a fact that if you don't do this and if you are not strategic as to how you are spending your time throughout the day, you're going to feel that you are all over the place and you never get anything done. So especially in the beginning when you are new, you need to know exactly what your schedule looks like, how much time you're going to spend prospecting because we know that if you're not prospecting, nobody knows about you and how are you going to generate leads to possibly convert them to get some deals. So you need to be generating leads. Now, what do I mean by generating leads? The first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have a database of your entire sphere of influence. Now, who is your sphere of influence? These are people that you know, friends, family, old coworkers, people from church, people at the gym. Again, these are people that know you by name, and these are probably the very first people that might send you someone that either wants to buy or sell or maybe they themselves will consider using you because they already know you and they probably already trust you so you need to be able to leverage this group of people to hopefully start getting some deals so this goes along with your lead generation and prospecting now aside from that what else are you going to be doing if you've been watching my videos, you have seen that the very first year that I did real estate, all I did was door knock. Then I slowly transitioned into cold calling for sale by owners and expired. Until now, I still make those calls, but a majority of my business does come from referrals from past clients and also my sphere of influence and my social media. So for you, figure out exactly what you want to go after or what you have the budget to purchase. A lot of these programs that offer you services for for sale by owners and expireds or neighborhood data do cost a monthly fee that if you're not ready for it, it can all add up very quickly. 
I'll give you an example. So I personally use Mojo's three line dialer. So what that means is that when I upload phone numbers into the system, it dials three numbers at a time. Now, this program, just the three line dialer, costs $149 from Mojo. I'm not talking about the data. Now, if I did want to purchase data specifically coming from Mojo, because they do offer that option, then there is an additional fee. Now we're talking possibly $49 or $50, depending on what type of additional information I wanna get. Maybe I just want neighborhood phone numbers, or if I just want expired, or perhaps just for sale by owners. So imagine, on top of the 149, now I have to add on another $50. So now we're talking 200 bucks. Let's say you want to use a different service, like Red X or Vulcan 7, which is the pricier of the two. You see, all of these fees do start adding up, but I can tell you that one of the sources that is completely free that you can be going after, and I have talked about it in many of my videos, are the for sale by owners. Now those you can find on Zillow, you can find them on Craigslist, you can find them on so many other websites, and all you have to do is pull up the address, it's going to come up as for sale by owner. Many times it does provide a phone number for the owner or someone that's related to the owner or someone that's perhaps taking care of the transaction. And the next step is for you to really buckle down on your scripts, your objection handlers, and start hitting those. Aside from that, I know that right now because of COVID, it's a little bit difficult to door knock, but door knocking would be another great free way for you to lead generate. So these are some things for you to consider and start thinking about how exactly are you going to generate leads. Now going back to when I was talking about building a database with your sphere of influence, you want to use this group of people and always be adding to these sheets. Now for my bootcamp for new agents, I have actually created and given everyone that joins a completely free CRM that I created myself on Google Sheets. Everything is completely organized on there and there are nine different sections for you to organize every type of lead from hot lead to cold lead to your vendors to investors, you name it, I probably have a tab in there. So once you have this, perhaps it's Google Sheets, perhaps it's another service that you're paying for, you want to continuously be adding people to it. Now the reason that you want to add people to it is because you want to start sending out newsletters. It could be either monthly or weekly or bi-weekly, whatever it is that you decide on, make sure that you are sending out emails to people in your database that way they know that you are a real estate agent and make sure that you're always providing useful and helpful information. I suggest that you do not send any of those recipes in the newsletters because let's face it, if I got those emails, I probably wouldn't even look at it or I would probably unsubscribe. But on the other hand, if you are sending market updates just to inform people what's going on in their area, perhaps how many homes sold the last month, uh, an update about interest rates, now people are more likely to open that and maybe forward that to somebody else or reply to you if they feel that they have a real estate need or if they have a question. So these are just a few tips that I wanna give you, especially if you are just about to get licensed or maybe you recently got your license within the past six months. Again, my new real estate agent bootcamp will be starting on September 23rd. And along with everything that I just talked about here, I will be going over so much more, including communication and sales techniques. I will also be going over social media and how to grow your following and leverage all those people to, to get business. I will also be going over the entire process of working with buyers and sellers. And along with that, there will be so much more. I'm doing the live trainings every single Wednesday, and I'm also posting a lot of content throughout the week in the form of videos and worksheets and also live Q and A's. So if any of what I just said is something that you would be interested in being a part of and having access to me every single day for the next four weeks, then definitely sign up. This is the last bootcamp that I will be holding this year, and I'm not sure exactly when the next one will be. So if you're interested, make sure you visit my website, lloydavelasquez.com forward slash new agent. And with that being said, thanks for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you like it, and I will see you on the next one.